I have the honor to present on behalf of the European Union the draft resolution A slash HRC slash 29 slash L12 on the situation of human rights in Belarus. The resolution before us reflects the findings of the latest report of the Special Rapporteur on the human rights situation in Belarus, who has reiterated on several occasions the continuous existence of a pattern of serious human rights violations which are of a systemic and systematic nature and include inter alia limitations of freedom of opinion and expression, freedom of peaceful assembly and freedom of association, as well as the continuing harassment, intimidation and arbitrary arrest and detention of human rights defenders, political opponents and journalists and allegations of torture and ill treatment while in custody. Regrettably, the Special Rapporteur has confirmed that very little progress has been made and that major human rights concerns remain unaddressed by the Belarusian government. According to his report, in key areas such as workers' rights, uh, legislation governing the electoral process, civil society legislation, the right to peaceful association and assembly, the freedom of expression and media, the situation appears to have worsened. This is particularly worrisome in the lead-up to the next presidential elections in October 2015. The EU is continuously concerned about the use of the death penalty in Belarus. It deplores the lack of progress made on this matter despite the establishment of, of a parliamentary working group in 2010. The EU is also concerned by the lack of transparency around the use of the death penalty in Belarus. The EU urges Belarus, the only European country still applying the death penalty, to establish a moratorium as the first step towards its abolition. Over the past four years, the EU has taken several progressive steps to engage Belarus in a meaningful dialogue on its human rights situation in the Human Rights Council. While looking forward to the resumption of the EU-Belarus human rights dialogue, we deeply regret the continued lack of cooperation by the government of Belarus with the relevant UN human rights mechanisms. The EU urges Belarus to fully cooperate with them and to implement recommendations made by the Special Rapporteur. We strongly encourage the government of Belarus to engage with the Special Rapporteur who provides an important source of information and independent expertise on the human rights situation in Belarus. In its work on the resolution, the EU has conducted a series of productive consultations with various interested stakeholders. We warmly welcome and thank all delegations for their cooperation and valuable comments provided throughout the negotiation process. I thank you, Mr. President.